parent and get frustrated at the sight of your children playing video games, well, you might want to rethink that position as they could be actually working their way to a scholarship. Yeah, get this. Playing video games get you money to go to college. Channel 2 had the <laughs> chance to sit down with the Colorado High School Activities Association, which is known as CHASA, for an exclusive interview. CHASA is planning on sanctioning esports and gaming teams at the high school level now, a move that is gaining the attention of major universities, as Channel 2's Natalie Tisdall explains. These games are not your father's Pac-Man. They often have the budget of a major Hollywood movie and require quite a lot of skill to play. Esport competitions have sold out the Staples Center in LA as their popularity continues to grow with viewers in person and online. The League of Legends World Championship once had a bigger audience than the NBA Finals. AJ Dimmick is the director of esports at the University of Utah, one of 80 universities that have an esports team. It's just simple math. If you see the number, smite it. So we came out to 27 scholarship uh, student athletes here in esports. We're going to up that to 34 next year. In Colorado, an estimated 22,000 teens play video games. The Colorado High School Activities Association, or CHASA, would like to bring competitive gaming leagues to high schools. First with a trial year, then fully operational in about two years. You face your access. And the most exciting is the inclusive piece of it. We have students with disabilities that maybe would have a disadvantage in some of the other opportunities that we're offering. This is a level playing field. So we see this as the most inclusive activity that we could offer in the state of Colorado in terms of gender equity as well as inclusiveness. And major colleges and power conferences like the University of Utah are starting to take notice of what Colorado is doing at the high school level. BYU, I think, is out of time. To us, it would be an instantaneous pipeline of somewhere where we would look to see if we can uh, use it to find our players. And from college, the sky's the limit, as professional esports gamers can make six to seven figure salaries. Chassa just wants to be a part of helping teenagers achieve that dream. I, th I think you have to change your mindset about um, what Chassa is about. We're not just about handing out a trophy at state championships, we're an extension of the classroom, and everything that we do from unified sports to special. Olympics and now to potentially looking at a genre of, of eSports. There it is! Yeah. It's about including all kids. My goodness, and who would have ever thought you could make a million dollars a year or more playing video games? Chassa also believes the cost of sanctioning eSports would be less than a traditional sport because there's not a lot of gear besides computer that you need to play. Matches could take place over the internet, so travel costs would be minimal. And with companies such as ESPN and Red Bull vying for sponsorship opportunities, that could bring down the operational costs as well. 842.